Hey, my name is Devin Raytouche and I'm a real estate agent in the East Bay and today we're going to do something a little bit different with the video. We're going to do a market update and we're going to talk about what happened last year from January through June of 2016 compared to what's happened so far this year, January through June of 2017. Today it's June 7th, 2017. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about what I think is going to happen in the future. And so first I want to talk about the statistics. and. This report, it's for the East Bay, and more specifically the cities Berkeley, Oakland, Albany, El Cerrito, Emeryville, and Kensington. And so, so far this year, we've had the number of homes sold has been about 2,000, it's 1,999. And comparing this to last year, it's pretty flat. Last year at this time, we had about 2,020 homes sold. And that's one of the reasons for the big price run-ups is that there haven't been a lot of homes for sale, um, but that stayed about flat. Um, we have had higher demand though. Prices have gone up 8% since last year. And that's gone from an average of $700,000 to $756,000. And part of the reason for that is we're seeing, still seeing people coming into Alameda County. Um, there are some articles written recently about how people are leaving the Bay Area or how some counties have seen a population decrease. Um, but those have tended to be the counties with the higher property prices, and that's Santa Clara County, um, San Mateo County, and also Marin County. And a lot of those people are coming over here to the East Bay. And we've seen some actually unheard of prices recently. Um, there was a house in South Berkeley, a three bedroom, two bath that sold for $1.5 million this week. There was also a two bedroom, one and a half bath in North Berkeley that sold for $1.3 million this week. Another in El Cerrito, it was a three bedroom, two bath, totally done. It was a nice house, but that ended up going for 1.2 million. And so we've seen some prices um, that we haven't seen before. I mean, it's starting to look a lot like San Francisco prices. Prices. And I think that's what's happening. People are coming from the South Bay and that's what a three bedroom, two bath house would have cost over there in Palo Alto, Menlo Park, wherever. And so they're getting a similar item. They're buying something similar. It's a also a similar sized house with nice amenities around it. The commute to San Francisco takes about the same amount of time. Um, so I think we've seen prices go up for that reason. People are getting priced out of other more expensive areas and then coming here to buy. I also think with interest rates going up, you would think that would have a negative effect on property prices because mortgage payments are more with higher interest rates. But I think in the short term, that the Federal Reserve has started raising interest rates, it's kind of having a squeeze effect where people who were sitting on the fence before are now jumping into the market because they think that, oh, well, I'm gonna get the same house for the same price, but my mortgage payment's gonna be higher with a higher interest rate, so I have to do this now. Mortgage rates are still low. This is my chance. And so I think prices are going up in the short term, but eventually, as interest rates go up, if the Federal Reserve continues to raise them, I do think that will have that negative effect on prices. I don't necessarily think we're gonna see prices go down, but the appreciation will slow. Um, it won't be 8% every year like we've been seeing. Um, so it's, and I think it's still gonna be competitive too. There's still gonna be a lot of buyers for each house, but I think it shows that eventually those buyers will get tapped out. We're only gonna pay so much per month. Um, I mean, the wages are high because of the tech sector, but we're not seeing that much wage growth yet. Um, so I think the increase in prices is a little unsustainable. Um, so that's the market report for this week. If you have any questions about the market or if there's anything I can do for you, always feel free to give me a call. You can send me an email. You can send me a text. I'm always happy to help.